Oh yeah. yeah. Actually, last year, uh, I got to speak to Teller on Desert Bus. He called in at the very beginning. We were having him call in. It happened to be the very beginning of my show. And uh, he called and chatted with us for a while. He's an incredibly nice man. And we had a lovely time talking to him. Al Jazeera was here, so they got that. But the first time they called in is actually the really funny story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they didn't call in so much as call, because it, it was year one, right? Yep. And, uh, and so man was trying down Morgan's cell phone number. Actually, yeah, here, Johnny, you... It was like... <laughs> holding, the, <laughs> holding the phone up to the microphone above our head. Ian, could you switch to the wider camera? So it was like this, and then, then Graham or oh, yeah. Paul was talking, and then they'd hold it back up there. Um, our tech setup was not as advanced. And, but, and, but, but funny only enough, the, not so advanced in the first year, but that lasted for like three years yeah. before I was like, we could just choose Skype to do call -ins. <laughs> That will Skype work did better. Skype progressively better during those years, yep. which helped. But, but the very first time they called, we didn't really have any contact information or anything, because that was the year one when it was just some random idea that Loading Ready Run had come up with, and they thought it was going to be like a weekend. And like, you know, I, the girlfriend, was like stopping by and random stuff, and then it ended up going for like four days. And nobody was prepared, and it wasn't supposed to be any big thing. And uh, they heard about us doing this, and they tried to find a phone number, and they yeah. somehow got Morgan's. Yeah. I don't remember how that happened. And, and I would Morgan, believe that Morgan would be the only person who went and put his phone number online somewhere somehow. Yeah, and he and he was um, he had been driving for a while. Yeah. And then he had gone to bed. He and went to just, sleep. Well, and it was in their his living room. Yeah. Bill and Morgan were living in and Graham at the time. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were living in this horrible rundown house, and it was just happening in their living room. So he went back down the hall into the bedroom to like actually get some sleep because he'd been up forever. And uh, and this call comes in, and he just picks up the phone, and what did he say? He was just not like, something that we can say on the radio. Yeah, he's <laughs> like you know, bus off or something like that. Not having and any idea. I think I think I think Teller said this is this is Teller. Are you doing? Well? And he's like, yeah. Bus off. Bus off. I'm trying to Bus sleep. Bus off. I'm trying to just hang up. And hangs up. Yeah, and hangs up. He thought he was being prank called. Yeah, exactly. Well, he was half asleep too, right? Yeah. And then what did they call him? I guess they. they I think Paul. they got a hold of Paul. Yeah. Through his mom. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> they, they somehow they got through Paul's mom. I don't remember the details how this worked. Graham, I know, but but they they got uh, Paul's number and called him and and yeah, it described how Morgan had basically told them to. Off. Well, so see, the, the thing is, the is that eventually, I guess they called them and they did that whole thing on air yeah. with the thing. And then a few minutes later, Morgan, I think, kind of just crawled out of his bedroom looking kind of shocked. And he's like, wait, did I just <laughs> tell Teller to bust off? That was real. <laughs> that was really the that was so that fun. And then they bought us food and there was this whole thing, because uh, we didn't have Desert Bus catered back then. And we were all like, oh, right, yeah, how do we um, food while we do this? And so they had bought us like sandwiches and pizzas and stuff. And there was this whole adventure of uh, Teller trying to call, find a local food place that would a take credit card payment over the phone, oh, and and like from a long distance. It's like this is Teller. The don't hang up. I'm, it's not a prank call. No, really. And his, can I give you my credit card number and you take sandwiches to this other address? And his credit card name it says Teller. He's legally yeah. changed his name to Teller. Yeah. All one word. And, and he's also you know. If anyone does know who he is, they assume he's a mute sometimes, right? Like, because like, he doesn't nope. talk in public, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was. It was. But yeah, last funny. year both of them called in actually yeah. uh, on my cell phone, so that was kind of weird seeing that on the call display. Yeah. Because no neither of them blocked their number. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of weird. I uh, I actually went to Vegas this year. Ashley and I both and we went down there for her bachelorette and. Um, we didn't see a Penn and Teller show, but one day possibly we will. But it was kind of cool to like be in Vegas and actually see what it's like to be in Vegas because all these years <coughs> of driving desert bus, we had no idea. But but besides buying food for us and telling people us about like they've um, I've seen a, a video where someone asked them about desert bus uh, like at a con mm -hmm. and they go on this big long thing about how great it is and they've just been yeah. super super supportive. They really have. They've called in. They've they given us food. It. They've given us huge prizes and donated large sums of their own money. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're awesome and they're very very supportive. They, I happen to know for a fact, also uh, have signed things that other people have taken to them um, that have to do with Desert Bus to like donate to Desert Bus. So for example, I think it's tomorrow, we have coming up in our silent auctions the Desert Bus uh, 2600 for Atari 2600 that a random team of folks, uh, what is the name of their company? Clever Game Studio, I think, mm -hmm. um, made. And they sent us the prototype last year and we did a big giveaway for that. Um, and this year they have the actual game out. So they have, they've sent us in a, a silent auction prize pack that's got the, uh, or is it a giveaway? 
can't mm -hmm. remember. It's called Paul Shift. Okay. Uh, it's a giveaway on Paul Shift, and it's got um, a t two copies of the actual finished game now and a t-shirt, and they took it to uh, Vegas to one of Penn & Teller's shows, and there's a picture on the auction listing, or on the prize listing, of Penn & Teller signing one of the game cartridges. Sweet. So, nice. yeah. Very, very cool. Cool. Thanks. Awesome.